welcome back to the course on geographic information system. So, this is module 11 GIS as a software and in this hands on session we are going to look at the introduction to our software. The concept covered in this sessions are introduction to R and how to download uh, and install R software and we will see the R interface and uh, different data types in R and basic uh, functionalities which can be performed using R software. So, when we see R, so R is a software, it is a research uh, or a development environment rather than just a programming language. So, it is a handy and popular tool for statistical compu computation and to analyze data and create creating graphs in charts. The popularity of R uh, among data scientists and researchers is because of its ease of learning, availability of different packages and compat compatibility across vari various platforms. So, R can be used in uh, Windows system or uh, Mac system or Linux system as well. And also it is a open source and free software. So, that can be downloaded and installed without paying for it and it can be redistributed or it can be used for commercial and research purposes without really paying for it. So, with this introduction we will directly jump to how to install R software. So, let us go to the website from which we can download R software. So, this is the website with which we can download R and R studio. So, please make a note that we need to download two softwares one is R and one more is R studio. R studio is an ex extension to R which provides some more sophisticated functionalities similar to R. So, if you type R software download as a Google search. So, the first link cran.rproject.org if you go to this particular website. So, the first option which gives R uh, download R 3.6.1 the latest version for Windows. So, we will see how to install and uh, use R for Windows version. So, which is similar to similar uh, the functionality is similar to any other operating system also. So, if you click this particular link, link our software will get downloaded. So, it is just dot exe file, it is having uh, somewhere around 80 MB. So, it will get downloaded to your system. Similarly, you what you need uh, to use in this particular session is also an software called R studio. So, if you search R studio software as a download in Google search, R studio website will get open here you need to uh, come down and uh, there is a free version available for our studio desktop. So, if you click on download and download our studio for windows. So, it will get uh, so our studio will also have an dot exe file. So, this is around 140 MB these two files you need to download and keep it and finally, uh, needs to be installed to start using our software for this particular session. So, what currently I have done I have uh, downloaded all these things and kept, kept and in already installed in my system. So, I will stop these processes and directly jump to our software. So, these two are the, are the links with which uh, we can download our software. So, how to go to our software if you go to windows and search as our studio. So, our studio link will appear. So, if you just click on that. R studio will get open. So, this is the basic interface of R. So, if you go to file, uh, file and uh, new file and you can say as R script. So, R script will page get open. So, this is the uh, page in, in which we can write uh, start writing the R codes and right side you can see there is an environment history and connections. Here all the data set which we loaded to our environment will get displayed. At the right bottom this is the area where we can search for particular tool to get help or we can see different packages installed in R or if we can see different plots and charts which are which can be generated from the R can be seen here. And also we can establish a connection to the R software using here. So, this is the basic console we will go back to slides and try to understand uh, the processes. So, this is the code editor as, as I have shown you in our software and at the right right top as the left top and right top is the workspace and the history left side we can see our console and right bottom we can see plots and files. 
So, now we will try to understand different uh, data, data types and objects which are present in the R. First one is uh, object classes. So, R has uh, 5 object classes, one is character, numeric, integer and complex and logical. So, we will try to see one by one and next is vectors and lists and finally, matrix and data frames. So, how to create how to create these things we will go and see in R software we will go to R studio now. So, here let us try to create one uh, object class for example, x is equal to x is equal to 52 is a number and we will so how to run this. So, once you type uh, any code in R you just need to click on run to run our software. So, now the value of uh, x uh, 52 is assigned to x now. So, a variable called x is uh, assigned by a number 52. Let us try to see its class. If you type class and x and run it, so it, it says it is a numeric. So, so, 52 is a number. So, r has a data type as a numeric. So, similarly we will see y is equal to y is equal to iit iit kharagpur and run it so how do we run so we can run using the run button or we can use keyboard shortcut control and enter so make sure that uh, your cursor is in that particular line for example if i am running y is equal to iit kharagpur so that cursor need to be in that particular line to run and then use control enter. So, once you do control, control enter that particular code will get run and that is visible in the console. So, if the console shows the next uh, arrow button that means the previous command has run properly. So, at the right top you can see IIT Karakpur a value is assigned to y. So, if you want to check that in console you can uh, go to console and press y and, and run it. So, IIT Karakpur a, a, a string value is assigned to y. So, let us try to see what is its class, class of y and control enter that is a shortcut to run this particular line. When you run this it says a character. So, previously x was a uh, numeric and now y is a character. Similarly, we can do uh, different data types such as complex number or uh, uh, integer floating points number etcetera. This is how we can create a class in R. So, next we will try to uh, uh, create a vector uh, vector in R. So, how to do that? A vector is equal to this is a I will just name as vector example is equal to you note that uh, we can use either uh, this symbol or we can use equal both of these symbol are one and the same though both of them both of them mean is equal to a vector is equal to we need to use a command c to uh, create a vector so i'll create a numeric vector now 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 so th this is how we can create a numeric vector and control run so now a vector has been created so so we can see its class type class vector example here we can see the command has been uh, shown. So, if you run this and control enter it says a numeric vector. Similarly, we can do a vector with the character vector vector character is equal to c using c command we can create vector. I can create create different colors maybe red green yellow these three colors I will put it into a variable called character colors and control enter if I do. So, a variable called v character color is created here. So, that can be that can be visualized in console as well. So, if you go to console we enter character underscore colors if you type this and enter it all, all the values will be visible sorry this should be v. 
so we can see all all the values are visible so this is how we can create a character vector or a numeric vector next we will try to see how to how to how to create a matrix so let us go back to the slides and uh, explore so if you want to create a matrix there are multiple options uh, are available to create matrix first one is to uh, create a vector and then uh, using a dimension function you can create a matrix let us try to create using this let us go back to r console let us create a vector now matrix matrix vector is equal to a vector can be created using a c com a c function i'll create a numeric vector of 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and then run then we can use dim dimension of matrix vector should be i can assign the dimension so dimension should also be an vector so uh, we have 3 and 3 six elements let us have 2 cross 3 a matrix we can mention the dimension of a matrix now a matrix is created we can we can go and inspect uh, the matrix vector matrix vector here just copy a matrix and put it into a console and then run it so we can see a matrix having a uh, rows number of rows twos and number of column threes so this is how we can create a matrix similarly we can create uh, one more uh, data type called data frame so basically matrix matrix is a arrangement of uh, arrangement of numbers or characters in terms of rows and columns so in data frame or in uh, or in data frame uh, data type in r so it contains number of rows and columns uh, arranged in excel like format so having uh, unique elements in different data types so for example in matrix we can st uh, sh uh, store only a single type of data type for example we can store only numbers or we can store only integers but in uh, data in data frame we can store uh, both together so that is the advantage of data frame in r we use data frame very much so let us try to import an excel file and then then see how data frame can be useful how we can convert an excel file into a data frame so how do we br how do we bring the ex uh, bring the excel file let us go back to the slides and and ver ver verify the steps so we can use a, a function called read.csv to import an excel file so th for this exercise we have given a, an excel file in the data uh, in the data folder that you can see if you go to uh, np r session nptl folder there is a folder uh, there is a file called employee.data so this one we will try to import into r and then inspect how it can be used so before uh, before bringing in uh, the excel file into database we will try to see how 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 we can set the directory so setting directory is important because uh, once we try to open any file the uh, the window will directly go to that particular folder so that can be done using a command called set wd set wd is the command to to set to set the directory so using set wd and uh, double quotation so here inside the double quotation we need to mention the path go back to the path and copy the path where which where the file is mentioned uh, file is kept and just copy the path to the uh, to the r console so here make sure that in windows system if you use forward slash instead of backward slash all these slashes need to be uh, forward slash needs to be uh, backward slash need to be Uh, change it to forward slash to file setting the directories so once we have the uh, location in uh, is set properly then we need to run set wd command 
so when we run this the particular uh, folder is set as a set uh, directory in r so now we can uh, directly start uh, importing excel file into into uh, the r, uh, r environment let us name the excel file as employee that data employee underscore data is equal to read dot csv so so when you type read so it gives a suggestion so this this one can be used read dot csv and we can uh, so here we can use file dot choose command to import the file and then run it so a window will open so asking to open the file so since we now we have set the directory to this path so it is directly opening this particular path so if you double click on employee data the employee data is imported into our environment now so here if you go and see the employee data is imported into our environment so let us inspect the same data in excel as well in a spreadsheet the data data contains uh, different ranks of uh, of the teaching staff and their discipline years of service and uh, their gender and the salary this information are existing in the excel sheet so if you want to do any kind of analysis or preparing preparing graphs and charts or prepare any kind of analytics so that can be the data can be brought it into uh, our environment using uh, read.csv file so currently we bought this excel data into uh, our environment and we, we, will, we will inspect the data set here. So, if you type employee.data at the right side, if you click on employee.data at the right side, the window will open showing the data in excel format. So, right now you can, uh, we will try to check what is the class of this employee.data which we created. I will just copy employee.data and just check class of employee.data and run it. So, it says a data frame. So, till now we have seen, so how to create a numeric, uh, a numeric, uh, numeric class, a character class, a vector class, a matrix and how to set a, a path in the directory path in the R environment and how to create a data frame. So, these are all different data types in R that is basic data types in R which can be, uh, which need to be understood for further uh, process in R. So now till now we have created employee employee.data file. So now try now we will try to uh, subset the data, how to subset this data for further processing. Suppose so if I if I do not want uh, the salary information, if I want till only gender, for example, the column number 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and for, for example, I need only first 10 rows. So how to subset this data in R? So let us try to subset the data in R. For that, we need to use uh, for example, I will assign it into a different variable called employee.data, employee.data underscore subset is equal to, I need to call the previous uh, variable that is employee.data and then use square brackets. So, here, here we, we need to use one comma. So, before the comma, it, it, it meant uh, it is uh, it is used for filtering the number of rows after the comma it is used for filtering the number of columns so i'll just mention number of rows rows is to rows this is the syntax for uh, filtering the data columns is to columns For example, uh, in the current data set employee data, if I want from row number 1, row number 1 to row number 10, so I can write something like this 1 is to 10. So that means from row number 1 to row number 10, it will filter out and then it goes to columns. So if I want columns from row from first column to column number 5. So, this is how we can filter first 10 columns and first 5 rows, first 10 uh, rows and first 5 columns and then run it. So, now employee.data subset has been created. So, if you go here and click, 
we can see only the 10 rows and uh, 5 columns. This is how we can subset the data in R. So, similarly subset can be done on the simple vector as well. Suppose a uh, vector like uh, matrix vector is created, uh, so which is having a data from 1 to 6, this also can be subsetted something like this. So, we can uh, for example, I will just, uh, we will just try to see how matrix dot vector appears. So, if you run matrix dot vector, so, so if you run a vector example, not matrix dot vector, vector example, let us try to create a vector example one more. If you go here and use command C and write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, till 6 elements we have created in this vector. So, if you go and inspect our vector example, it is a variable. So, having the values from 1 to 6. So, 1 to 6 are there. If you want to subset this to only 1 to 3, how to do this? So, we can give one more as vector example subset and then using the square bracket 1 to 3 we can do first element to third element and then run it. So, now if you if you check what vector subset contains is the subset of first vector. So, it has 1 to 3. So, similarly, so if we are having number of rows and columns, we can use this syntax in which row is to rows, column is to columns, row is to rows, comma, column is to columns and if we have only single vector, we can use from 1 is to 3 or 1 is to n command to subset the data. So, next let us try to uh, uh, create a sequence. So, how to create a sequence in n? If, if you want to create a, a number of elements, for example, if you want to create elements from 1 to 10 or 1 to 100. So, how to do that? So, so you can go to R console, mention, let us mention a variable called uh, y, y is equal to 1 is to 50 and run it. So, a variable called y will be saved, so with the value from 1 to 50. So, so you can see it in console here, if you use y and run, so a value from 1 to 1 to 50 is created. So, then you can use this particular data for uh, further analysis or for creating this kind of subsets for further analysis as well. And one more thing, important thing here is that, so we can use a question mark question mark and uh, any command if you want to uh, get the information about the command you can use question mark and this uh, command you can type it. For example, if I want to know how read CSV works, write question mark and this command and then run it. So, in the right side, in the right side in the help uh, table it gives the description about that. So, it is coming from the tool called utils. So, read dot uh, table. So, here, so what are the different variables or parameters can be given to read a CSV file, all these things and uh, some examples as well also mentioned. So, at the bottom, if you come at the bottom, some syntaxes along with the examples, how to run read uh, read.csv is also mentioned. If you want to know about any details about the commands, so, so we can use question and that particular command. If you want to use question bar, question and C, so this particular command is used to add a vector or a list. This is how you can use the help button in, uh, in R. So, till now we have seen, uh, so how to set a directory and how to take help from the uh, console. So, in a nutshell, In a nutshell, in, in, the, in, this, in, in this particular session, we have seen uh, introduction to R and uh, downloading and installing R and basic R interface and different data types in R. For example, we have seen how to create uh, numerics, how to, how to create character, how to create vectors, how to create uh, data frames, how to bring in data, Excel data to R and some basic functionalities such as filtering and uh, uh, asking uh, questions or making help, uh, taking helps. Uh, from our console and finally, we have seen setting working directory as well. 
So, in the next session we are going to look at uh, uh, so how different raster functions or vector functions that is related to GIS can be performed in R. Thank you.